Welcome, I'm Rigo Anguiano and I will be talking to you about Handball in this presentation. The goal of the class is to have a better understanding of the Handball. This picture shows us today's players' reaction of handballs, and his handball is probably the most unclear area of the loss of the game. And this lack of clarity caused much confusion, inconsistency, and therefore controversy. In this presentation, we will reflect the changes and clarifications of the loss of the game 2020-2021. The purpose of the class is to help clarify what is a handball. Now, the laws of the game are clear on what is an offense and what is not an offense. The laws relating to fouls, especially handball, were improved by moving the focus from the intent, interference, which is a mental, to a outcome, what is the impact, the physical fact, and based on that, we referees can make a decision. Here is a section from the changes and clarifications of the laws of the game 2020-2021 in regards to the handball. Now we do have a diagram that shows us what is going to be a handball and what is not, and also the accidental handball by the attacking player or teammate. It is only penalized if it occurs immediately before a goal or a goal scoring opportunity. In regards to misconduct to the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper can be cautioned or sent off for illegally touching the ball a second time after a restart even if it happens with the hands, if it breaks a promising attack or denies an obvious goal scoring opportunity. Here is a new text and diagram that show us what is going to be handball and what is not going to be handball. As you can see, the shoulder is going to be no handball. The rest of the arm and hand, it is a handball. Here is the added text for the goalkeeper. If the goalkeeper deliberately plays the ball a second time at a restart before he touched another player and stops a promising attack or denies a goal or an obvious goal scoring opportunity, the goalkeeper should be cautioned or sent off for the offense. Handball is an offense under, under Law 12, false and misconduct and it is under the direct free kick offenses. Here is a section from the loss of the game. And also can be a penalty kick under law 14. And here is the section from the loss of the game. Here are the first two bullets of what is an offense in regards to the handball. Let's read them. Here is the third bullet for what is an offense. And it has two outcomes. Please read it. Let's watch this video. Towards Gabby Nunes. Nice play by Brenner. And from... You see the right forearm. What do you see? Hembo? Yes, it is Hembo. The attacker player attacked the ball, moved the hand or arm towards the ball to gain control and possession of the ball and there right after scores into the opponent's goal. Clearly a handball. Here is the video once again. And towards Gabby Nunes. Nice play by Brenner. And from you see the right forearm. Here is the text that supports the handball.
Here is the second bullet of what is an offense under Hamble. As we can see, a player cannot score directly into the opponent's goal with the hand or arm, even if it's accidental, and this includes the goalkeeper. Under Lot 10, we can see if the goalkeeper throws the ball directly into the opponent's goal, the restart will be a goal kick. The goalkeeper cannot score a goal by throwing the ball with, with the player's hands, even though if the ball is in play. Let's watch another video. What is your decision? The player scores directly into the opponent's goal with a hand. It's not as that is a handball, even if it's accidental. The, the contact with the hand, ball with the hand. It is a handball. It is an offense. Here is the text from the loss of the game. And what is the reason? The football does not accept a goal being scored directly from the hand or arm, even if it's accidental, into the opponent's goal. Let's continue watching a video. What do you see? Handball? The player creates a promising attack after the ball makes contact with the hand, even if it's accidental, and the law is clear. If it creates a goal scoring opportunity, it is a handball offense. Here is the text from the loss of the game. And what is the reason? What did we take into consideration? Well, the football does not accept a player gaining possession or control of the ball with their hand or arm, even if it's accidental, and then creates a goal scoring opportunity. In the 2020-2021 changes and modifications, now it is clear to us and it is an offense if a player touched the ball with their hand or arm when the hand or arm has made their body unnaturally bigger, extending the arm, the hand or arm is above beyond the shoulder level, which is means what we know as a hand above the shoulder. As you can see, for those offenses, applies even if it's touched by play for the player's own body or another player who's close by. Another video. Okay. Limpio. Bravo, Carlos. Okay, hey! ancora. Fammi oh, vedere, no, fammi vedere, no. fammi vedere, the referee whistle no, a penalty. No, 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 no. Whistle a penalty, referee. Fammi vedere, no, fammi vedere cosa, fammi vedere no, piano. No, no. The referee gave penalty. L'immagine migliore. Number 20. Fammi Anche vedere. Questa, guarda questa. No, perfetto, no. perfetto, perfetto, perfetto. What do you see? Handball? 
The player takes a rest by extending the arm to create a barrier. Once the ball makes contact with the hand, it is an offense. It is handball. In this particular case, penalty kick. Here is the text from the loss of the game. Making the body bigger, contact with the ball and the and the hand or arm, an offense, handball. The players do take a risk by doing so. Let's watch this video. Do you agree with the referee? Do you see Hamble? Yes, it is Hamble. The arm is above the shoulder. It's not there for balance. It is to block a shot towards the goal. The defender took the risk by having the arm extended uh, beyond and above the shoulder even though it, it was, uh, the ball came from behind him, he took the risk. The ball hit the player's arm. Therefore, it is an offense because of the position of the arm above the shoulder, and it is a handball. Here is the text from the loss of the game. Although the ball does hit his arm, which is above his shoulder, this is not a handball. The law states, unless the player deliberately plays the ball, which then touches their hand or arm. So that is the exception. According to the uh, modifications and changes for 2020-21, now it is clear to us what is not an offense. It's just as simple as that. It's not an offense. Here are the first two bullets. Let's read them. Two more bullets on what is not an offense. Let's read them.
another video. What do you see? No hembo? What you took into consideration? The ball goes directly from the player's, which is a defender, own head to the arm. The arm is therefore balanced, he's turning his body. The ball comes from short distance of his body. Therefore, it's almost impossible to remove the hand from, from that position. No offense. No handball. Here is again. Here is the text from the loss of the game. The ball comes off the player's own head, own body, and is close, and it is almost impossible to avoid a counter with it. Another one. What do you see? No handball? No offense? It is no handball. This, this is what we took into consideration. The arms are tied to the body. The ball is unexpected from a short distance. The player do not do a second movement to the ball. It's so close by, almost impossible to avoid the contact. There is no offense. No handball. Here is a video once again. Here is the text from the loss of the game. Here is the reason why we took into consideration it is too close and it's almost impossible for the player to, to avoid the contact with the ball. Therefore, it's not an offense, no handball. Let's go watch another video. Good. It's a foot, yeah? Yep. yep. What do you see? Handball or no handball? It is not a handball. What we took into consideration to decide that it's no handball? The arms are tied to the body. The player is turning away from the shot. He is not making, the player is not making his body bigger. He's just turning. Hand close to the body, tied to the body. Therefore, no offense, no handball.
In addition to that, the shell is uh, so close by, almost impossible to avoid the contact with the ball. Here is once again. It's good. It's a foot, yeah. Yep. And here is the text from the loss of the game. No handball. Do you agree? This is what we took into consideration. When a player falls and the arm or hand is between the body and the ground to support the body, it's not extended to create a barrier to make himself bigger. Therefore, there is no offense, no handball. Let's watch the video. Here is the text from the loss of the game. From now on, we're going to be going to watch some videos. You have to make the decision. You make the call, whether it's a handball or no handball. Also, write your considerations that support your decision. Attacking the ball, hand to the ball, scoring from in the, with the hand, making himself bigger. Show hand above the shoulder to close and tie to the body, supporting the fold. Get ready. Okay. Possible. I caught by corpo. Okay, correcto, correct al corpo, al corpo. No mano, no, no falta, no falta con la mano, no falta. Sí, 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 va bien. Bravo. Muy bien. What is your decision? Hembol? No hembol? It is no hembol. The arm is a normal playing position. There is no additional movement to the ball. The ball is coming from another player from a short distance. Therefore, no offense, no handball. Okay. Al corpo, al corpo. Okay, correcto, correcto, al corpo, al corpo. No mano, no, no falta, no falta con la mano, no falta. Sí, 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 va bien. Bravo. Muy bien. 
Bien fácil. Handball, no handball. The defender extended the arm, creating a barrier, taking a risk. Once a ball makes contact with the hand, that is an offense. That is a handball. What is your decision, handball or no handball? If you see no handball, you are correct. The player is, his arms are in normal running position. There is no second action, and also the ball is coming from his own body, too close to react. Therefore, there is no offense, no handball. What do you see? What is your decision? Hamble? No Hamble. No Hamble. It is no Hamble. The deflection of the body to the arm, which is in balanced position, is not a naturally bigger. He's not extending the arm. Therefore, no offense, no Hamble. What do you see? What is your decision? Handball? It is handball. The ball comes and then the player do a second movement, moving the ball down, gaining possession, and above all, is creating a promising opportunity. Therefore, it is an offense. It is a handball. Several masters of the dark arts in there. No one to Cavani. Pedrini got a shot off. Casares had a shot as well, but it's gone. Casares' his arms clearly in the view of the referee in an unnatural position there, but it was quite. Salcedo. 
What is your decision? No handball? It is no handball. The arms are tied to the body. There is no second action and the, and the ball is rebounding off the leg of the player. Therefore, too close to react as well. No offense, no handball. Into these areas with this man, Juan. That's better from him. And a half chance now. With... But at last, they got on the move here. Off Salcedo. What is your decision? No handball? Here is the play. It is no handball. The defender is running with the arms down at the sides. He is not making a natural vigor. He is not extending the, the, the arm. There is a contact with the hand, yes, but that's just incidental. Since he's not making himself bigger, he's too close. There is no offense. There is no handball. What is your decision? It is handball. Yes, it is handball. The player is attacking the ball. He's moving the ball. He's lifting the arm and the hand above the shoulder. Once the ball makes contact, that's handball. In addition to that, it creates a promising attack. Therefore, there is an offense. It is handball. What is your decision? Handball? It is handball. The arms are away from the body to make the body bigger. He is standing the arms to block the shot and if it make contact with the hand. Therefore, it is an offense. It is a handball. The player made himself bigger.
What is your decision? Did you hear Hambo? Yes, it is Hambo. The player extended the arm to make himself bigger and also placed the arm above the shoulder. So therefore, it is an offense. It is a handball. Pareceu peito, pra mim peito. Pra mim pega na mão, mas sem intenção, Mauro. Eu não vi, eu não vi. Nada. Ah, tá. Estão? Yes. Pra mim pega na mão, mas sem correcto, intenção. Correcto, correcto. Rebotan no estômago e depois le pegam no braço. Ok, perfeito. Correcto. Boa, Mauro. Nada, Mauro. Boa, Ailton. Vamos. Ok. Sim, sim. Vamos lá. O que você vê? Qual é a sua decisão? Não rembo? It is no handball. The ball deflects off the torso of the defender to the arm. The ball comes from a short distance of his body. Therefore, it's not an offense. It is not a handball. Wow. What's no foul, no foul. I'm looking at this side. Pareceu peito, pra mim peito. Pra mim pega na mão, mas sem intenção, Mauro. Eu não vi, eu não vi. Nada. Ah, tá. Estão? Yes. Pra mim pega na mão, mas sem correcto, intenção. Correcto, correcto. Rebota no estômago e depois le pegam no braço. Ok, perfeito. Correcto. Boa, Mauro. Boa, Ailton. Vamos. Ok. Sim, sim. Vamos lá. Just to be clear about handballs, remember, it is an offense, it is a handball, when attacking the ball, moving the hand or arms towards the ball to gain control or possession, it is handball. The goalkeeper cannot score into the opponent's goal by hand or arm. That is going to be a handball. And after the ball makes contact with the attacker's hand or arm, it is not accepted, even though if it's accidental to score a goal or create a goal scoring opportunity. It is also an offense, it is a handball, if the player touches the ball with their hands or arm when the hand or arm has made their body a natural bigger. It means extending the arm away from the body. Also, the hand or arm is above and beyond their shoulder level. The players are taking a risk by doing so. It's not an offense, there is no handball, if the ball touches the player's arm or hand directly from the player's own head or body, this including the foot, directly from the head or body of another player who is close by. If the hand or arm is close to the body and does not make the body a natural bigger, it's also not an offense when a player is falling and the hand or arm is between the body and the ground to support the body. It's not extended away from the body to make the body bigger. Thank you for watching and have fun out there.